Hello guys, it's Chris, and today we are going to be watching Anna O'Brien, aka Glitter and Lasers. Her um, running journey, I guess, for now, has kind of reached a culmination point. Uh, it's titled, the video is titled, My Running Journey, Time to Run My First 5K. Um, this will be interesting. First of all, I want to say, I think it's really good for Anna or anybody, anybody, uh, to get out and be active and want to move and do things. The problem is, is Anna is super morbidly obese and she's curated a very body positive health at every size audience, which is very full of very obese people. A lot of them are probably very young and impressionable. And they are going to see this and think it is perfectly safe for them to go out and do high endurance things like running. This was the problem I had when April Lauren ran. At April size, she was too big to be running. It was dangerous. And she was half of Anna's size. And she was still morbidly obese. Um, any high impact activity it's going to be really hard on your joints it's going to wear down your knees your ankles all the things but not only that we have to look at the strain on someone like Anna's heart it's amazing the resilience her body has that she hasn't just had the big one yet um so uh, because people that are a lot smaller than her have had heart attacks and problems uh, because of their size. So um, this, I believe, is a very dangerous and um, irresponsible thing for her to be doing. She's very in denial about her size and the effects it has on her health and in general, uh, her role in it. Uh, she didn't get this big just because of lipedema. She definitely, definitely has lipedema, guys. I, I definitely don't doubt that but it is not all lipedema and her lipedema would not have gotten as bad as it is if she hadn't gotten to the size she is so um she just has a lot of people looking up to her showing her this they're gonna go out and go I can run too I'm gonna run a 5k and then they're either gonna keel over or break a knee or something uh and really hurt themselves so um we're gonna look at this uh she is sped up for time i will link the full video below i don't know if i'm going to uh skip through anything she uh i find her very immature and very needy and annoying but uh she's definitely in the girl world fat acceptance realm that i react to a lot so she's relevant um this would have been good if she would have said i want to get up to where i can walk a 5k you know, okay, great. That's fine. But to push this whole running journey, like she should be running, working with this place called Run Lab in Austin, which she said they told her that anybody can safely run. They don't uh, doubt you based on your size, which that's not true. Not everybody can safely run. Anna isn't safely running. And if they're telling people that that's wrong, but just for funsies, I looked up Run Lab and ironically, first of all, they don't mention Anna or Glitter and Lasers in any of their social media, none of their websites. The only pictures they show are of all just thin fit people, people who want to run better or start running that are already in fairly decent shape um, or have minimal weight to lose. Uh, and all the people who are seen at Run Lab and work with Run Lab that post are all fit themselves. Um, the only time I've seen Run Lab associated with Anna is in the like Instagram posts or reels or whatever, TikToks or whatever that Anna posts and tags them in. So um, she said they've worked with people before, obese people, the couple of pictures I think she flashed on screen once that showed, quote, big people that they work with. These people were barely more than maybe 30 pounds overweight. They have never worked with anyone in a size. It was very irresponsible of them to take her on. They should have absolutely said, you know what, you, you, 
you cannot run safely at your size and we can't work with you. You can't even walk at your size. And maybe they could have offered to um, give her an evaluation of her walking gait and give her some tips for that. And then said, come back after you've lost 175, 200 pounds. And that's the minimum she would need to lose to even think about running. So I know this was a long intro. I just wanted to get that out there. Um, I feel very strongly about this because people like she, she has an influence. She has a large audience of people who watch her and like it or not, people do emulate YouTubers and influencers and, and, and stuff that, that they like. So, um, she's being very irresponsible. So anyways, let's get into this. Let's watch this, uh, documentary of a, uh, world-class runner. She's just trying to be freaking the next fat lead. She thinks she's, um, Reagan Chastain and well, look at, she's really not in the picture too much anymore. Uh, yeah. I have always been told I can't run. Because I know I'm can't. not going to be fast. Uh, I know but that I'm not going to win. Because you're too big. Anna, you shouldn't run at all, whether it's going to be fast or slow. Um, I do have this sped up, but I am going to slow it down just a little bit so we can hear. I think I'm going to really struggle. I mean, my God, you guys, look at her. I am really overweight. Like, at tops, I am realistically 75 pounds overweight. And her thigh, the top of her thighs, before it even gets to the stomach is wider than than like my widest part and i am a fat ass i am a self-proclaimed fat ass a lot of her weight that is in her legs is lipedema but not all of it and like i said she i don't know if she's doing lipedema treatments but she could get a lot of that removed once she lost a certain amount of weight the only weight she's lost recently has been because she's on wego v or or ozempic or something and she doesn't really talk about her food too much other than when she shows protein snacks. I don't think she's changed her diet. And I don't think she lost 90 pounds like she said she did. I think she maybe lost about 50 or 60. And I think she's gained a lot of it back. Um, she's going to have a lot of health problems coming down the pipeline. But she'll admit to little to none of them because she has very fat acceptance. If I'm honest with myself, I think it's going to be... And if you look here, guys, I know I stop a lot, but I have to, okay? I'm a reactor. I have to get around copyright. I don't want to steal anybody's content. Um, but if you look at her at the 24 second mark of her video, for those of you who aren't watching, this is Anna next to a, now Anna is tall. So she does have a higher base weight than um, other, than like somebody short like myself. But this is her next to a more athletic than normal sized woman. It's insane. Maybe harder than I want to admit. It's just freeing. It's freeing to do something that people tell you is impossible to prove that you can do this like super hard thing. And I respect that she wants to do a super hard thing, okay? But like I said, she should have started with walking, with swimming, something like that. This is actually dangerous for her size. And like I said, not even like that's ignoring her joints. It includes her cardiovascular capabilities. Like she could, she could, like I said, she could start having a heart attack in the middle of a run because her body is already pumping so much harder. Her heart is pumping so much harder. It's working so much harder on the daily. Th this is not good. I think that success for me is just doing it. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Act like you know how this goes. And like I said, I, I know she says Run Lab didn't sponsor this, but they, they definitely took this as an advertising opportunity. And as I said, it says a lot that they don't feature her in basically none of their stuff. If you look at their like Yelp reviews, their website, like Facebook, their Twitter, stuff like that, their Twitter's not really updated. She's in nothing. 
So they know that if they were associated with telling those super, super morbidly obese, almost 500 pound woman, she can run safely and that they're going to coach her to do it, that they would probably catch a lot of heck and it would be bad for their reputation. Um, That being said, Anna has money and she has good quality video. uh, She has good video quality. Her editing is good. The effects are good. The video is good. Guys, I am saving all of the money I am now making on YouTube It's not a ton, don't get me wrong, but I am going to take all the money I make from YouTube and I'm stashing it away and I'm saving it up to get a a good vlogging camera or something like that and possibly a green screen. So the money that I do get from YouTube is going back into the channel. Um, So thank you guys for all the support you're giving the channel lately. But um, no, she has really good videos and stuff like that. Uh, Just the stuff she's portraying is dangerous. Her try on hauls and stuff, whatever. If if that's your thing, that's harmless. Stick to that type of stuff. But this type of stuff is horrible. Like, did you see that? um, It just showed her doing a TRX type thing. And she was jumping. They actually had her jumping completely (laughs) off the ground and coming back down and she should not be doing that at all my plan was is i was supposed to run today but i think i'm gonna run tomorrow okay. which is- and honestly if this woman was making real changes to her diet and not just relying on a, a, a dose of a weight loss medicine if she was running and exercising and training as much as she says she would the weight would have been noticeable she would have lost a good from the start of her weight loss she should have lost about 140 150 pounds by now it's minimal when you have to like really skimp and like squint your eyes to see the weight loss it's not that significant um and she's she's showing people about re-upping and refueling and stuff with all these protein snacks when you're her size this annoyed me about april lauren too how she'd have to stop every so often and suck on a a freaking applesauce to refuel when you're when you have excess weight especially to the point where that these girls do you don't need to refuel you don't need to replenish those calories let them take let your body take it off of your fat reserves um someone like me i don't need to refuel i don't need to refuel and at minimum i have about 35 more pounds to lose at max i have about 75 or 80 pounds to lose and i don't need to refuel so they definitely don't need to so they're like showing these people they're already too big to run get them out going doing stuff like this and then showing them oh god i gotta eat all these protein snacks i gotta eat all this stuff i gotta refuel no no you don't just make sure you stay hydrated make sure your electrolytes are up and make sure you're drinking your water and that's it give it an extra day okay also thoughts and theories i think i maybe need to slow down to go fast I, it's okay. Yeah. I just don't want to injure myself. And I think learning this, it's like, I don't want to go up in the mountain I'm running until I feel confident that I'm running when I'm running safely. And you shouldn't be running. You cannot run safely at your weight, Anna, at all. And it is smart for her to not go fast. Because like I said, I worry about her just having the big one, you know, right in the middle of one of these runs or her knees buckling and her falling, something like that, twisting an ankle. Um... And these people definitely agree to do this with her because she's got two million some uh, uh, subs on YouTube. And that's not even looking at her Instagram and TikTok reach. Okay. Does that that make sense? No, that's a great plan. And so I was like, okay, let's not plan the 5K until I feel comfortable. Because I feel like then I just feel like I keep pushing it out and I don't want to push it. Like, I'm not trying to avoid it. Mm -hmm. But I was, as I said to John, and I'll say again, I don't want to run a race. I want to run for life. One of the biggest indicators of like your success and how you're going to do and things like that at any given race it's just like do you feel confident in yourself do you feel comfortable with what you're doing and like and your training plan right i was working and if she wants to run for life then she should be putting it off right now she should be focused on maybe walking and jo- like uh swimming something like that but her goal 99 percent of her focus should be on weight loss cleaning up her diet eating less 
and getting this weight off and dealing with the lipedema with the specific lipedema treatments she needs to be doing. Like she's very in denial. Like I'm not even trying to be mean, but look, this woman is almost as wide as this hallway. I mean, good God. Working with my doctors to try to uncover what had caused me to become so inflamed, but I can't deny I being extremely overweight will make you constantly inflamed, Anna. You know, having a shit diet, drinking too much will cause you to be inflamed. Like, people think that... Here I am going on my rant already. Frodo, out of the window. I'm sorry. Channel dog is channel dogging. He's doing his thing. Frodo's Frodoing. Um, but um, I'm actually going to be rearranging my, ca my, my living room because I film on my laptop in my living room. Uh, I'm going to be rearranging the living room so that uh, he's not barking in the background of the videos as much because he has 100% of the time access to the bay window via the back of the couch. He's like little and he can run around like a cat. And I have to move this couch to the other side of the room so that he doesn't have that access 100%. Anyways, what I was saying is people think fat is just a very benign, innocuous thing that sits on your body and does nothing except, you know insulate you and and change your shape and to the point of as we see in the case with these girls deformity but it is very very they are learning more and more it is very metabolically active many people consider it an actual organ now it's considered an organ by a lot of uh scientists it is very metabolically active, very hormonally active. It screws with a lot of your hormones and stuff. It's very estrogenic. Um, so it's, it doesn't just sit there and do nothing except like keep you padded and warm. It's, it's, um, it it's plays a bigger role in your overall health and well-being than, than we've known up until recently. So uh, to, to be this size is, is awful. And now I know with Anna, like lipedema does cause fat to actually like uh, become fibrotic and hard and stuff like that. And it has to physically be removed via liposuction. But her whole body is not lipedema. And um, you can control lipedema by doing the treatments, by managing your weight, by eating a very low carbohydrate ketogenic diet because it's very anti-inflammatory. It's like the gold standard diet for lipedema. Um, and I don't see her doing anything like that. So Anna could have gotten away with her lipedema not being nearly as bad as it is if she would have managed her weight. Same with people like Amber Lynn and whoever else has it. Uh, so, Yeah. I felt so frustrated to work so hard, but to feel even further. I mean, look, they even told her she can't even walk right. She can't walk right. Her le her size hinders her too much. So the fact that they informed her she couldn't even walk right, yet continued to coach her on r jogging and running is extremely irresponsible, in my opinion, of course. From my goal that I was when I began. Training plans are there to be like a good guideline, especially like if you're somebody who likes structure and likes numbers and you want to like know what to do, then they're a great resource. They're also not gospel, right? So if you have a bad week or something like that, that's fine, right? And but like, but again, like we said earlier, like the goal is to be as comfortable and as confident as you can be on race day. I'm being smart about myself right now. And no, you're not, Anna. You're being very, very stupid, actually. Nothing about this whole running thing is smart. Like it will crush me if we set a date and I don't achieve it. Even if I do everything right, if I set that date and I don't hit it, I'll be mad at myself. If you were doing anything right, Anna, the first thing you would be doing is losing weight. We would see weight coming off of you. You did lose a little bit of weight because of your injections before, but you're clearly gaining it back. So you obviously haven't changed anything about your food other than you added protein snacks and oh because because they're so much better because protein uh swedish fish are are good guys i'm sorry she just really frustrates me she's got such a huge reach and oh so i think it's better for me to say let's just keep going and we'll see where we're at in like a month and if we're progressing a lot and my muscles growing you know in line then we'll you don't know how your muscles are growing or anything anna you can't freaking see them they can't see them or feel them. And it's like, and it gets me mad too, because like, if you notice nobody, 
nobody in any of these videos, they talk about her bone structure and her gait and all this. Nobody talks about her freaking weight. They don't mention her weight at all when they talk about how to make her walk more appropriately, how to get her running better, faster, safer. Nobody says to do that, you've got to get weight off. You've got to take weight off of you. And it's purely because obviously there had to have been some agreement behind the camera that she told them, look, my weight is not to be brought up at all. They probably said to themselves, God damn, it, it's 100% her weight, but we can't say this because we're going to not pass up this opportunity for all this, this free exposure. You know what I mean? From this, this woman who, who's an influencer and has over 2 million subs. It's completely irresponsible for them to not, every time she comes in, say, did you lose weight yet? Let's check your weight. Okay, sorry. No, you haven't. Okay, come back in a month. Like, I, this, this place is really, it, it's, it's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Well, like, great. Now we can schedule. But it may not be the case, so it's okay. So my plan was actually to go for a walk, maybe even a run after the session, but I'm learning to slow down to go fast. So we're gonna have a rest day because that's what my body needs. And this whole journey is about learning to listen to my body. And guess what? I'm not very good at it, but I'll get better. You don't listen to your body, Anna, because your body doesn't need as much as you're stuffing into it. Yet you continue to, your body is telling you, I'm sure in many ways that it doesn't want to be this size, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, like, look, that was kind of like walking, like, do this, walk, walking is fine, but this jogging, like, even if she wants a power walk, okay, fine, I just, like I said, I worry about her cardiovascular health, she's better to just walk or speed walk, like, I mean, my God. So one of the reasons I run in intervals is because my heart rate. And, and do you see how knackered she is from the speed walking? Stick to the speed walking and don't push it any further than that. And that would get her heart rate up and that would also help her burn excess fat and calories. And if she would do this a few times a week, along with cleaning up her diet and eating less, we'd really see a lot of the weight coming off of her. And running for a minute, when I stop, my heart rate's at 174. So the goal is to try to improve on that. Be able to run the same distance, but not be as exerted. So... I just wanted to mark the starting point. Anna, what? when you're 450 pounds, you're going to be exerted no matter what. Right? Oh my God. The lesson that this has taught me is sometimes the easiest route is actually not the best route for you in the long run. So it's going to be hard for a while, but then a lot easier in the future and forever. It would be easier if you lost weight. Seriously, guys, this woman is probably back up to about 460, 470. At least. I mean, what do you guys think? I, Jesus. So I have this knee injury um, that I am working through. What? And we got about. <gasps> what? Oh, I guess it's about two and a quarter in. And I'm just starting to have some pain. Uh, the way they told me is to keep going if it's below a four. So What? I'm right on that border right now and I'm trying to call it. I'm gonna try to stretch my leg out a little bit um, as I did earlier and it kind of helped and see if I can uh, get the pain to go away a little bit. So we'll see. She actually has an injury to her knee. This woman here on the screen that I'm looking at has an injury and they, I'm assuming Run Lab, is telling her to push through it unless it's a four, as long as the pain is a four or less. God damn. I mean, how qualified are these people? What is wrong with them? If she has any type of knee pain or injury or tweak or twist, she shouldn't be running on it. She probably shouldn't even be walking on it. She should be letting it rest for a few days until it completely heals and then doing no more than a basic walk or a swim in the pool. And she should have it wrapped or something. I don't see any type of wrap under her, you know, or, or brace or anything under her outfit. <sighs> Do you know how screwed she's going to be if she really hurts her knee 
and ends up truly effing herself up to where she has to be on crutches in a cast, can't walk, can't bear weight, or God forbid is like bed bound or needs a surgery. Do you know how screwed she's going to be? Because she depends on this for a lot of her weight loss from the the medication. So if she becomes to the point where she is barely mobile or immobile laid up because of an injury, she's going to balloon right back up to where she started. <laughs> Jesus. They shouldn't be telling even a fit person that has a knee injury to where it's hurting and tweaking and you have to rate the pain to push through it. <laughs> See this? I mean, she's just lumbering along, like carrying the equivalent of the weight of the world on her shoulders and legs. Yeah, push through the pain, girlfriend. You have an injury. Eh, God. And, and I'm like really mad because one, it's irresponsible. But two, I don't want to see her actually legitimately hurt herself and then end up in a worse spot that's like one of the reasons I was so bothered by April Lauren running not just because of her size and all that she was another one did nothing about the food tried to outrun a bad diet proof exact proof positive that you can't do that but April a few years before that suffered a real legitimate injury she fell off of a, was it a ladder or a step stool or something at a job and messed up her one knee, like the leg. It had a knee injury where she needed, I think, a knee replacement of some kind. She had surgery. I do believe she might have broken uh, a bone or something too in the lower part of her leg or her ankle. I mean, she really messed up her leg and she was not able to bear weight and walk, I think for a good year or so, like around there, it was a severe injury and she should not have been running at that point at all on it. Um, with any type of excess weight, even if she was a healthy weight, if I were somebody like April with that injury, I would be very mindful and cautious about running at all. But, um, and, and these girls just have so many people that look up to them and, and cheer them on and want to go do this. So it's like, you have to just put your pride aside and look at your well being. So what I've done is I'm just trying to do the tiniest steps in the most perfect form so that it hurts the least. So it's really slow. You're never going to have perfect form though, Anna, your, your, your body, your legs, your, it's not the right shape. You're so damaged that you you can't have perfect form. No matter the what they tell you to do, it's going to be off. It's going to be, you know what I mean? It's not going to be right. Get back to the car, which is still about a quarter of a mile away. So part of the process. A lot of people forget is everybody has bad days. And it's whether you get up after that bad day and keep pushing. And if you're watching like those little black spots that pop up for a few seconds. At first I thought it was, I thought it was my computer or something. That, that's how her video is edited. That makes all the difference. We are working with Anna today. I'm finding a little bit better in removing patterns, getting a little bit more of a hip hinge so we can find more of that butt working, find some more comfort in where her core is, where her trunk and is. And she doesn't need to be doing these squats they have her doing where she squats like all the way to the ground and stuff. God, no. I mean, my knees feel it hers have just to finding better walking patterns in general the name of the game right now is just to build better cardio health to get a better platform for where we need to be running that 5k and beyond so why aren't you listing weight loss in there because she doesn't allow him to say it but if he was an ethical trainer or doctor or whatever he would say i can't do this i can't participate in this i can't record this segment unless i mention getting your cardio up increasing your cardio getting your weight down because they should be working with her on that too. Or at least make a statement that, that that's part of her part to play in it. I'll beat this horse into the ground too. I'm not kidding because that's, that's it's the truth. I eat it again. Who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new Maddie Betty. My hair stay late and you know I get paid. $100 bills like I racks on the way. I'm making them big Am I going to get like copyright struck for this music? Like, I'm going to mute this. Okay, now, of course, as soon as I mute it, she's talking again. 
and tired after working out this is well if you see a glimpse like if you see a thing in the middle of this where there's like a mute it's because it copyright struck it and i need to mute it <laughs> i don't want to record re-record re the whole video for a couple clips of, of music really what i think hell is like i'm assuming like, she has to use like this. copyright free like music in pt we did a lot of exercises to make sure my glutes were activating today we are working on dynamically controlling flexion and extension ultimately trying to apply it into running but first using this step up exercise this would help take pressure off like she does she needs to watch doing exercises like step ups and step backs and stuff like that it's for obvious freaking reasons at this point off of my knee and since i was coming off of a re-aggravated knee injury this was she's coming off of a re-aggravated knee injury so she has a knee injury and they're telling her to not be resting it and just rest it and work on losing weight and oh how about you go to a regular doctor or physical therapist and have them check it out if they were ethical, then by all, by the love of God, they'd be telling her not to be practicing jogging and running on it. Critical. A lot of the times doing these exercises, I felt silly, but slowly I began to see my run actually improve. Anna, it's, this is so stupid. And, and you, you don't mind being silly. You always act like an absolute clown for, for views and for attention. And you think like you're this cute, quirky little, like 14 year old or something. So that doesn't matter. And like I said, these people shouldn't have you running. Do you know what it is? It's because I'm thinking, roll your foot, roll your foot. Which again, <laughs> pray for the drill. <laughs> but let the drill be the drill. You just run. I, but I, that doesn't happen with me. I'm an hard. overthinker. I couldn't tell you which exercises did what. I just know that being consistent about them, showing up and doing them day after day, did actually begin to change the way. All of these people telling this woman to do this stuff are thin, fit, athletic bodied people. This is so unethical. I ran. We also worked a lot on building my power and also the actual stance in which I ran to help increase the way I would like impact the ground to move myself forward. And it's also like feeding into this delusion, right? Oh, anybody can run. You can run at your size. Uh, body positivity. All bodies are good bodies. No, this is like directly feeding into this delusion that she has, that she's not as big as she is. She's not as... Uh, she hasn't disabled herself to the point that she has, that her habits and lifestyle choices aren't absolutely horrid and that they need to change. It's just all feeding. That's part of the problem in America these days is we feed like delusion and, and, and poor mental health and crap like that. And, and we need to be helping people with that, obviously, and treating them. But, uh, you know validating this stuff and going along with it certainly doesn't help this is trying to get your brain and your body able to produce force faster right in a very safe environment i really have been prioritizing running which has been hard a safe in a safe environment where she like puts has impact and stuff that's safer what do you mean on the moon on the moon okay so let's send anna to the moon because or at the very least, the space shuttle in space orbiting the planet. Because that would take away gravity. And that is the only way, time, or place that Anna running and walking and running, like running and all this stuff. That's the only way or only place that this would be safe. As if she was on the freaking moon, literally. And there's no gravity bearing down on her joints. I didn't know these people were going to send her to the moon. Is this like a big finale that she was keeping under wraps? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, and I know I'm just Not taking the piss and being a, a total shit lord, but this is just so frustrating. I wasn't prioritizing it before, but I'm like, it's different. It's like, I don't try to do it on the same day I lift because it's too much for me right now. Yeah. And then that's like, I'm destroyed after and then I don't want to do it again. 100%. So if I do it on its own day, then it's not that bad. Michael was like, let's just get to the 5k. Let's do it. And Honestly, I don't care how fast. I know that you want me to go fast, but I just want to, I just want to finish. He shouldn't want you to go fast. This guy hates you, Anna. This guy is, is, is a hater if he wants you to go fast. Like, I don't care if she wants to go, like I said, and get to the point where she can walk a 5K. That would be great. But she thinks she's like freaking Olympic O'Brien, and that's just not true. I just want you to complete it without being hurt and feel yes. good about yourself. Exactly. I could honestly Freaking care less. Anna, you saying bolt. Okay. I just want you to feel- 10K is a little bit harder because I can't get swept, so. Fair. 
But number one goal is like, do I feel confident doing this? And do I feel like I accomplished something versus like, yeah. I got through it, but that I didn't enjoy. I felt exhausted. I felt overwhelmed. And the idea of being able to run three miles nonstop seemed further than it had ever been before. I can do this. I've done this before. Yes, it feels harder, but it's not impossible. It's okay to go slow. We just need to finish it. This woman is completely delusional. She, I want to know what <laughs> color the sky is. Still, I made myself in show her up, world because it sure as hell not blue. Every time I was there, I felt like I was being completely unrealistic. For some reason, I just you were Anna, and they should have told you that. These people, I hope. I mean, some other poor overweight sap is going to come and get help from them, and they're either going to turn them away or tell them they need to lose weight because they don't have a huge media following, or they're going to like work with them and someone's going to get hurt and then they're going to sue them which these people this run lab would absolutely That's have coming kept showing up <sighs> my stomach is in knots i do not feel great but we're still gonna do this <sighs> anna you're a dumbass <laughs> When I started this journey, I set my success as just finishing, and I'm gonna stick with that. Um, I think I can do better than just finishing. I think I can probably potentially have a new- How about you just finish alive? Like that should be your goal. Finish alive in one piece, not on a stretcher. That would be great. Like record in the speed of which I finished this distance, but I have to remind myself that like, take the win where the win is. And a couple months ago, I didn't think this was possible. So just doing it is the win. And I need to be happy and excited about just doing it. But you're not because you want to have to try to run it. And look, all of these other people, like I said, are fitter, leaner, thinner people. Everybody's Team Anna. They're, they're just doing it because they're supportive and they're great and they're awesome. It's not because she has a, a 2 million plus social media following, guys. It's not because she's filming this and, and getting their name out there. Oh, no, no, no. They do this with every single, every single client they have, right? Every client that wants to run a marathon, they all go and run it with them for support, right? She's so delusional. <laughs> Like, I just, I really think that the biggest haters and biggest shitlords in this woman's life right now is not us. It is these, these yahoos at Run Lab. A little bit of anxiety? Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. I feel like it's a lot harder than it normally is. Yeah. So. That anxiety and chest tightening is, is probably like cardiac strain. It's just, it's the people. It's Physically, actually, cardiac. The energy thing. is something different. Uh, I think I'll be really stressed and scared that I. This is nice. This is perfect. You see her sitting here walking, a little bit of a brisk pace, nothing crazy. This is what she should be doing for, I'd say, an hour a day, five days a week, something like that, five, six days a week, and watching her diet. And that should have been their advice. Okay, Anna, here, whatever you paid them, pay me because I just gave you better advice than they're giving you. I won't show enough improvement. And if I could tell myself anything, it would be just like, remember why you did this? It wasn't and like, again, I think that getting to a point where she can walk faster and then jog and then maybe eventually run, that is a good long term goal for her. Like put it on your bucket list. Um, but she needs to, be realistic that that is like the running is literally probably two or three or four years down the line to be good at it you did it to get back to something that made you really happy so remember that in just that point. seven hours driving on the highway far away far away far away every moment i was spending on regret was such a waste such a waste such a waste this music okay Like, I wish she would just accept her limitations and work within them, really get on the ball with her diet, and then she'll see more progress in her weight loss and her body size and shape, and then she can, you know, work up to doing more and more difficult things. I mean, like, we need... 
And the, the funniest, craziest thing is somebody like me preaching about reality. And I am like one of those people who believes in so many conspiracy theories and cryptids and the paranormal and strange like encounters and all that stuff that other people think are totally, it's totally wackadoo. Yeah, I believe in all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to like weight loss and uh, physical effects of the body and nutrition and diet and health, I'm very much a realist when it comes to that. I am trained in basic allopathic medicine, you know, m medical care and treatments. And um, so I, I, I do stick to pretty much in reality when it comes to that type of stuff. So, and she's just completely, she's not in reality like this. I feel like this is the upside down we're living in right now. You know, minus the demigorgons. Yay. Okay. I'm glad she finished. I really am. I'm glad she finished. I, I'm glad she finished and I'm, and I'm really, really glad she didn't get hurt. I just. I hope she's seeing a PT and a doctor ab about this knee. And I don't mean like a personal trainer. I mean like a physical therapist about, about this knee. 5838. You need your time. And she's just showing a lot of like, footage random footage of her uh experience with run lab door I'm, I'm muting this because like i said i don't know if this i'm assuming if she can use this music it's copyright i should be able to use it. you know i think and she just said thank you run lab no 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 you shouldn't be thanking them they're doing you no favors girlfriend in my life i've lived myself a lot yeah. by being afraid to try things that i wouldn't immediately succeed at and i think how about you you not be afraid and actually try actual weight loss, Anna? Please, please, I'm begging you. Try actual weight loss. Try real diets. It'll it'll be amazing the results you'll get and how you'll feel and what you'll be able to do. If running has taught me anything, it's taught me that there is a lot of joy and slow and steady progress. And I think we take that joy for granted and sometimes don't even acknowledge it. Uh, it's not about the big wins. It's not about the small wins. It's about showing up for yourself every day. And then when you come to do something like this, you exceed your expectations because you put in the consistent work. If, if you were putting in the consistent work, you know, oh my God, mm, and, and, and showing up for yourself every day, you would have been the whole time, even before your whatever medication from Novo Nordisk you're getting before that. But since then, at least you will be showing up for yourself and, um, making better food choices, eating less, whatever you're doing, you're still eating enough to maintain and gain again, roughly still being around 450 pounds. And if you're doing all this exercising and burning these calories, then you're eating even more. So you're probably realistically still eating at least 4,000 plus calories a day. That's not showing up for yourself because it's definitely not all whole foods that would just be so much food, even maybe you could need it, but you don't show up for yourself. You'd be focused on getting that number on the scale down, getting that fat off of your body, getting that strain off of your heart and your joints and your lungs and, and everything like that. So you're not showing up for yourself. You're doing this because you wanted to appear inspirational and you wanted ass pats and you wanted views and you, you want to deny the reality that your body is in such a bad shape that you are effectively disabled by your weights if I and it's self-inflicted myself i will eventually be and have the life i want again and this is just one step there so uh anna i really hope you have the life you want i really do but you're you're not gonna have much of a life left if you don't get some of this weight off because she's like in her what mid-30s Something like that. So, okay, this was just like, this is a really frustrating one. She really frustrates me. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it was wise of this run lab? Do you think it was ethical of them to be training? Like I said, if she wanted to go and they said, okay, you're too heavy. You've got to lose weight. You cannot run safely. But we'll assess your walk. We'll help you with your basic gait and get you walking 
in a more appropriate manner, in a safer manner, and give her some very easy uh, exercises to do to maybe help strengthen her leg muscles and stuff a little bit. Not deep lunges, not jumping, not anything like that. Um, if they would have done that, that would have been ethical. I find them helping her and that some of the exercises they gave her completely unethical. So anyways, I hope you like this one. I wanted to get this out. Uh, it's content and it's relevant to girl world. Like I said, girl world's been pretty busy lately. So there's been a lot of weird stuff going on. So anyways, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. If you don't have anything you want to say in the comments and you want to help with the algorithm, she has a little uh, charm, a lucky charm, a, a, a lucky charm. My God, I'm thinking in terms of cereal talking about this woman, a uh, four leaf clover. This must have been ran around uh, St. Patrick's Day. Leave a uh, four-leaf clover or something like that in the comments. So anyways, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.